These are the John B. Plastic Adjustable Spray Bottles. What I've got on camera is a two-pack. You can find this on Amazon for right around $7 per bottle if bought singularly. However, at time of recording, there was basically a two-for-one discount. I'll drop the link in the description. These are 16-ounce leak-proof, clog-proof spray bottles intended for use with water, bleach, vinegar, alcohol, etc. They even advertise them for use with barbecue sauce to each their own. It's recommended to hand wash only, and a fully assembled bottle weighs in at 3.8 ounces when empty. The listed dimensions are 7.75 by 4 by 3.5 inches. The bottles come in three pieces, bottle, nozzle, and straw, and my two-pack came with a small funnel for easy filling as well. Okay, so should you buy? Yeah, I would definitely recommend these spray bottles. There really isn't much to them, and it's a simple product that does a simple job. You really want these to be plastic and chemical resistant depending on what you plan to use them for. The nozzles are good quality and the difference between the stream spray and lock settings is well defined. Each of the modes work well. The material is extremely lightweight and will totally be dominated by the weight of whatever water or liquid you choose to fill it with. In my experience so far, the nozzle cap screw on seal is watertight and working well. As you can see in the video, the stream mode has pretty good range. I would say six feet or so before any fall off. Some people like to use these for blasting insects, so having a good range is nice. The straw is long enough to reach the very bottom of the bottle, so you should be able to use essentially the entire contents before refilling. Also, I forgot to mention they included an extra third straw with my two pack of bottles. All in all, I have to recommend these, especially if you want to buy in a little bit of bulk and get something for a good price. Lastly, I want to say these bottles are advertised as HDPE eco-friendly, meaning the material they're made out of is manufactured with something called HDPE. It's a so-called BPA-free plastic that's also chemically resistant. So the big takeaway there for me is that it's BPA-free. And I think what they're saying is it's made of HDPE, which also gives it the chemical resistance without being made of BPA. It's hard to show, the trigger has a lot of weight to it. It's a good amount of weight. It's really satisfying uh, to pull on. You know, I read somewhere in the product description that there's like a stainless steel valve inside that plastic piece. So maybe that makes it durable um, and able to stand up to the pressure of you just pumping water through it. I'm trying to show off, okay, there's the inside, the bottom. I was trying to show off the markings on the side of the bottle there. I don't know if that came through on the video. Okay, that you can see the little recycling triangle at the bottom. Oh, it says HDPE on it, okay. So that's just your reminder of what it's made of. And if you're worried about it, you can do a little Google Foo, guarantee that it's BPA free. The ends of the straw have these little like slanted cuts. Uh, I guess that helps you feed it into the nozzle, although I, I don't know if it helps it stay. I noticed when I started feeding it in here, it doesn't go very far. Like it just sticks right in and it's like perfectly flush. So there's not like a ton of friction holding that straw in there as far as I'm concerned. I was kind of worried about it. Kept trying to push it in farther, but I guess the nozzle didn't fall off when I was dangling it like this. So I guess it works. and. It didn't fall off inside the bottle when I was doing my testing, so I guess it's fine, but you can see I just pop it on and it screws on easily, and that's your fully assembled bottle. Uh, okay, looks like it's locked. Oh, no, it wasn't locked. There we go. Nice, satisfying trigger. All right, we're going to go ahead and build the second one. Should be easy enough, and look how fast that is. All right, we're akimbo. And now we're gonna do a little demo, a little test. Here we go. Safety's off. Just kidding, there's no safety. This is stream mode. Sick. I'm trying to show from the side just the range and the velocity. It's really nice. I was kind of surprised for how cheap the bottle was. So I really believe that there, I would believe that there's a steel valve in there. Just showing that if I pull the trigger slowly, barely comes out, you gotta put a little force on the trigger, pull it fast. Let's back up a little bit. I'm trying to show the range from the sink. I've gotta be standing like six feet from the sink right now and it's still just blasting the back wall. 
Okay, if I wasn't six feet before, I'm definitely six feet now. Uh, could have been more than six feet. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I'm using a wide angle lens, so sometimes the edges of the screen can be a little distorted. But if you look right down the middle, that little sticker there, like the sink is three feet wide. I'm at least five feet away. And you can just hear the sound of it hitting the metal. It's high velocity. It's a good quality bottle. So then you twist it. And which, which way is that? Left? I'm trying to get oriented here. That's lefty Lucy if you're looking top down. And oh, it comes off. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. You can take it completely off, um, at which point does really nothing. Okay, so am I just... Do I not know what I'm talking about then? If it doesn't work after I take off this piece of plastic, then it must have nothing to do with any kind of stainless steel inside. I thought I read that on the description. I, I guess I'm wrong. Even if there is steel inside, it has nothing to do with uh, the spray action. But here we go. Nice. Quality spray mode. Trying to show that from different angles so you can get the light on it. Looks really good. Now just imagine barbecue sauce in there. <laughs> nice. Wow, it's getting misty in my kitchen. As you can see, I can do this all day. It's so satisfying. All right, and then I'm showing that from spray mode, loosen it a little bit and you get to stream mode. That's what I learned. So from lock, loosen it a little bit and it's spray, and then loosen it more and it's stream. So the looser it gets, the tighter that beam, I guess. And then boom, it's locked there. I'm trying to get some good angles here. Apologies for the sound of my dishwasher in the background. That's all there is to say. I'm satisfied with my purchase and I would recommend I drop the Amazon link below if you're interested. Like and comment with any questions, I'm more than happy to help and I'm sure I missed something. Please let me know if I can improve these videos in any way. If you'd like to support the channel, you should of course subscribe, we're trying to get to 1000. But if you'd like to go above and beyond, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. I appreciate every one of you, thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.